in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Hugh, start me off. What are the strongest scientific evidences you can present that support that verse? Well, I could begin with two, which would be uh, the reliability of general relativity to describe the dynamics of the universe and the space-time theorems of general relativity. Now, the first of those space-time theorems was published in 1970. We now have nearly 30 of those space-time theorems that have generalized their application. But in a nutshell, what they say is that if the dynamics of the universe is reliably described by general relativity, and if the universe contains mass, then there must be this beginning of space, time, matter, and energy in finite time. And there's a corollary to the theorem which states that there must be a causal agent that exists beyond space and time that's responsible for bringing into existence this universe of matter, energy, space, and time. The reliability of general relativity in describing the dynamics of the universe now ranks as the most experimentally tested and best proven principle in all of physics. Therefore, I have argued in several of my books uh, that there really is no basis for doubting, based on just the astronomy alone, that this causal agent beyond space and time must exist. And theologically, the important thing about that is that the Bible is really the only holy book that teaches that doctrine of creation. Other holy books talk about how God creates in, uh, within space and time, but it's the Bible that teaches this doctrine uh, that God creates independent or outside of space and time.